watch lovers welcome to another episode of the fut's watch collection where we do watch reviews watch breakdowns and all that good stuff so you know it's about having like um it's a lovely sight to see you guys again so thank you guys for checking out our previous videos and checking out the previous content i really appreciate all the likes and the views on the page so before we get into today I would just like to remind you guys to please like, share and subscribe to the channel as this really gives us motivation to release more interesting content for you. So what are we talking about today? So today we'll be talking about the Grand Seiko Heritage Collection. So that's the Grand Seiko's Heritage Collection and this is one of the two hand whining pieces in the Seiko, in the Grand Seiko Collection of watches. So this watch has the two hand winding pieces these are the two hand winding time pieces and the models we'll be talking about today will be the spg w291 and the spg w293 so we'll be calling these watches the 291 and the 293 so let's get into it so the grand seiko heritage collection is one of the most sought after collections in the grand seiko line this line was inspired by the Japanese watchmakers first releases in the 1960s. The new reference models, the as you mentioned, the SBG W291 and the SBG W293 are three and executions with a modest diameter of only 36.55 millimeters. And as which as natural with Grand Seiko, both these model of watches are pressure resistant. 10 bars and operate at a high rate of precision so the pressure pressure resistance of 10 bars are and the high rate of precision are seen in most grand seiko watches so this is normal all right guys so now let's look into the main features of the 291 and the 293 models from the grand seiko hertz collection so firstly both of the new watches in the model are distinguished by fine attributes that revisits the original 44 gs design that was introduced by grand seiko in 1967 the design elements that are maintained by grand seiko always includes the flat sunray brush dial also this has a faceted and applied hour markers as you can see the hands are what is known as zaratsu polished so the hands are considered or called zaratsu polished hands and these Zaratsu polish hands, ha, they have a complementary Zaratsu polished steel case. So the Zaratsu polish hands and the Zaratsu polished steel case is known as the Zaratsu finishing on the watch. The Zaratsu finishing technique on the watch allows for the models to have a contrasting textures. So the models have contrasting textures and these contra contrasting textures are seen along the surface of the 291 and the 290 watches from the heritage collection and these are seen as seen across the case these are to finish that gives the contrasting textures along the surface of the case this creates a subtle play of light so depending on the lighting the 291 the 291 and the 293 model has this contrasting look and this is as i said is provided by the Zeratsu finishing technique. Alright, thank you for sticking out with me for so long guys. So this video will be short. So finally we're just gonna look at a few tech specs and a few details, miscellaneous details about the 291 and the 293 models from the Grand Seeker Heritage Collection. So both models are driven by the manual winding caliber and this manual winding caliber is the 9S64 caliber. So this 9S64 caliber is equipped with an anti-magnetic and shock resistance balance spring. So that's an anti-magnetic and shock resistance balance spring. The, mechani the, mecha the mechanism of the caliber 9264 also provides a stop second function. So Grand Seiko shows that this, this stop second function and the caliber leads to a high accuracy on the watch. And the accuracy, the high status of accuracy on the watch has a regulation of plus to minus three seconds per day 
and a power reserve of 72 hours so that's very impressive again the caliber 9964 has an accuracy of plus 5 to minus 3 seconds per day and it has a power reserve of 72 hours so that's very impressive very very impressive there from Grand Seiko and the most impressive part about this is that the new Grand Seiko Heritage Collection references the SPGW291 and the SPGW293 only retail for 5200 US dollars each so that's very very good competitive pricing so again thank you guys for sticking out with me you know it's your boy Tevin please also remember to like share and subscribe to the channel as there will be more content coming out and again as I say all the best